Here's the uh, to the new year. First vlog. I finally got my GoPro set up. I think uh, in a good way for it not to cause so much wind noise. And I'm just basically trying to get my motorcycle up to 600 miles right now. It's, um, long story short, I'm still in the braking period. This is a 2023 Vulcan S. So I'm at approximately 584 right now. I've been riding it back and forth, taking it to work, you know, taking little trips here and there. Just trying to hit those 600 mile marker. But yeah, this is being that this is my first motorcycle that I've actually owned. I wanted to make sure that I was, uh, I'm doing things by the book. I don't know. This is where we're at right now. A couple miles shy of 600. I'm gonna do my first oil change already as well once I hit 600. And I'm gonna clean up and lube the chain as well. And I already got all that. I got that entire kit at the house waiting for me. Let me know what you guys think. I know I need a lot of improvements and I appreciate the feedback. But yeah, getting back to the uh, to the topic at hand. This is my first vlog because I just got this bike a couple months ago. I think it was October? September, October, something like that. And And yeah, I've been wanting a motorcycle for the longest time. But uh, I never went around and got one. I really wanted a uh, cross rocket. Uh, like a street bike. And I don't know. I still want one. <laughs> I still want one. Although, you know, as I got older, I kind of like lean more towards like cruisers like this. More of a cafe style, racer style. Which is fun. I absolutely love my bike. Don't get me wrong. But... I think uh, I think this is a good choice at least for me for now and go from there I do want to I do want to still get another bike I'm trying to get my wife to kind of get into this and it, she's kind of she's kind of on the fence I, I I do see that she's on the fence about it and that's okay I am not I, w I would be lying if I didn't say that I had a kind of a fear um, buying and getting into a bike because for the same reason I've never knock on wood never been into a fender bender like a big one little little ones here and there people rear-ending me and whatnot actually the biggest one was when I was at a red light once and uh, this guy just rear-ended my myself and my wife we were in the car we we're on our way to Vegas as a matter of fact and uh, we were at a at a red light and this guy comes and I kid you not he was probably he was probably, you know, hitting a good, I don't know, 50, 55 miles an hour in the, in the street. And I mean, imagine we're at a dead stop and my wife is doing her makeup on the passenger side. And I don't know, it just boom, happened. And yeah, I mean, our 
the rear end of our of our car just immediately just like smashed in. I had our luggage in the trunk, like I said, because we were going to Vegas. But man, as soon as that happened, I mean, I called my brother because my brother was already there. I was like, we're not gonna go. We just got rear-ended, and uh, yeah, that was that was probably the worst one. It was it was the worst one. It was over ten thousand dollars in damages to my car, which my insurance fixed. I was surprised. I thought they were gonna salvage it, but they never they didn't. Um, and that was a pretty 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 rough rough one right there. That was the worst one. But other than that, it's been little things here and there. And you do think about that in the back of your mind. You do think about well, God forbid I get rear-ended here. I mean, what's what's to save my life? I mean, nothing but the gear and that I'm wearing and the grace of God at this point because yeah so that fear always does live inside of me as a, 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 you know myself I don't know if any other riders you know can can agree but as for me yeah that's still that's still something that you know lives inside me but it's okay I'm a defensive driver um, right now I'm just driving like I said my bike to work which my work is a couple miles um, to and from it's not even that much I think I do like 15 miles round trip so it's not bad uh, other than that I mean I haven't done any really long trips or nothing like that not that this is a touring bike but uh, the longest trip I've taken was to a neighboring city where my family lives and uh, that's about 30 minutes away 25 30 minutes so that's not too bad so look at that horse <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I just uh, finally decided to pull the trigger on the bike and My wife was kind of like more lenient about it. She was more okay with it I should say she was you know like my mom. She was very Very hesitant just you know for worried whatever. I understand and yeah <laughs> Hey nice group of bikes <laughs> And this is where we turn around. You know what? I don't have a nice picture of my bike. But I think I'll do that another time. I'll give you guys a little... A little... Walk around of the Cowie. I've done a little modifications here and there. So, I'll explain that later. But anyways, yeah. I got the bike. And I kind of just been cruising it here and there. <laughs> Those are cool. I don't know if he's uh, new to riding as well or a little scared. I mean, that's cool. Take your time. I take these downhills myself a little slow for the same reason, you know, dirt, gravel. I don't want to end up on the side of the road there. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool uh, scenery here. So I just wanted to kind of take a cruise real quick here too. Put the miles in and uh, get my oil change done. But like I said, I still have a lot to learn. And I'm the kind of guy that like, I do my research and I study, you know, things that I'm interested in as far as uh, mechanics of the bikes. And I like to do the maintenance myself. Not just my, you know, my bike, but my cars too. I do all that stuff myself. I like to. I enjoy it. I'm the kind of guy that I really enjoys taking the time to troubleshoot, fix things. Not just my cars. You know, I do the work on my house. Yeah.
I hope everybody had a good Christmas. Or had, had a good New Year's. I did. It's my favorite time of the year. And I definitely enjoy it. I spend the time with my family. And yeah. Cool bike, dude. That's what I want. See, that's... I want one of those next. Yes. <laughs> Other than that... This video is over. And I'll see you guys on the next one.